Hi, I'm Ryan Zupan, Mortgage Planner with Citywide Mortgage Services, and today we're going to talk about variable rate mortgages. Specifically, should you lock in your variable? A question we're getting asked a lot lately, and I, I recently did a blog this last week um, where we took a deeper dive into this and looked at you know what factors influence interest rates, um, what are some things to consider for the year ahead, uh, as well, what does history suggest is the better play? So for anyone who wants more info on that, we'll, we'll link to it in the uh, show notes. But um, you know, for this video, we're going to build off that and give you some more practical questions that you can ask yourself if you're considering locking in your variable. When people talk about fixed versus variable, it's funny. They, they'll often refer to fixed rate mortgages as being better for those that uh, are risk averse. You know, Lock in your rate. You'll know exactly what the payment's going to be throughout the term. It's a better play than if you're with a variable and you know you, there's no guarantee of, of where that payment might go throughout the term. In reality though, the biggest downside of a fixed rate mortgage is the penalty. So if you break the term before it's up, which happens a lot, it happens to the majority of borrowers in Canada, there's gonna be a penalty attached. And that penalty on the fixed rate side has the potential to be much, 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 much higher than if you're in a variable rate mortgage. Um, you know. Under that lens, I mean, really, the fixed rate actually seems like the riskier play. You know, you have, you're signing yourself up for much, much higher downside risk in the way of penalty. And as we touched on in the blog, I mean, history suggests the variable will outperforms, or the history has shown that the variables outperform the fixed rate close to 90% of the time. So, you know, again, under that lens, fixed rate, you have more downside risk on the penalty side, and you're probably going to pay more interest than if you're in a variable rate. I mean, really, which seems like the riskier product with that in mind? I mean, it it's, might not necessarily be the the uh, the variable rate. Um, you know, keep in mind that in Canada, it's over 60% of borrowers will break that mortgage before the term is up. So it happens a lot. And no matter how sure clients are that they are going to be keeping their mortgage, I mean, a lot can happen over five years. So I always suggest erring on the side of caution. Um, but... You know, for, for people that are in their forever home and they have steady jobs and they are a thousand percent certain that they will not be breaking that mortgage, um, the first thing you want to do if you're thinking about locking in is contact your lender, see what your lock-in options are going to be. Um, what you want to do is compare those two payments and see what kind of buffer you have, uh, you know, how many Bank of Canada increases would it take before those two payments will have caught up to each other. I mean, if one increase by the Bank of Canada will bring the those two payments at par, I mean, that's going to be a different decision than if it's three or four increases and you have a, a bigger buffer there. Um, so that's the first thing you should do. Um, the next thing to consider is, you know, what's your peace of mind going to be? I mean, you know, as we touched on in the blog, uh, history is pretty clear that, you know, you shouldn't try and time the market. Just ride out the variable. That should outperform, you know, a market timing strategy. But, you know, if you're the type of person that every time there's talk of rates going up, that's going to keep you up at night. Or if your finances are such that, you know, an increase to your payment is going to put stress on your budget, then, you know, there's, there's other things to consider than, you know, strictly, you know, how much interest are you going to pay over the term from one path or another. If you want to lock in, just think of it as an insurance policy against, uh, you know, rates really starting to rocket up here. Not saying that's what I think is going to happen, but, um, you know, something to, a way for you to justify it. Um, so with all that said, uh, you know, I, I, again, I'd like to point out that history suggests trying to lock in a variable rate is not a great idea. Interest rates are incredibly difficult to predict. It's one of the hardest things to predict in all of finance. And, um, you know, from an overall cost perspective, you'd be better off just riding out that variable versus trying to trying to lock it in. So if you'd like more info on that, take a look at the blog or feel free to contact me. But I'm Ryan with Citywide Mortgage Services. Thanks for watching.